there. This is going to be your first real lesson. And actually, I'm not going to talk already about how to play the Jiu. I'm first going to make you more aware what it is about and what we need. In this video, we're going to talk about air, anatomy and mindset. And why would I do that? Because I am a teacher that practices what he preaches or teaches. I'm not going to tell you any tricks. I want to be honest and I will be honest and I will make you understand what you need to know, not the tricks. So, in able to play this video, we first need to know about our air. 99% of the people use their inhaling and exhaling pattern actually the wrong way. Why? We mostly use our mouth for inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> Doing like this. It's commonly known as shallow breathing. Shallow breathing, it's part of using your chest to move your chest up like that. And it creates a fight and flight situation in your system. Fight and flight generates adrenaline and cortisol. That's a hormone which is in your cell. I'm not going to dive in too much into it. I will talk to it later. And the other part we have, we call rest and digest. And that's why we create the hormones like dopamine and serotonin. If you look at yourself, and you look towards the other person you're talking to, you mostly will see that you will mimic each other in that way. And if I would continue this video like this, a bit exaggerated, you will say, hey boss, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch any further. It makes me dizzy. What I use in my air understanding is that I've learned to use my nose for inhaling, and my mouth for exhaling. And understanding that pattern made me aware that actually inhaling is not the important thing, it's exhaling that's more important. So if you're stressed or feeling dizzy or whatever, you've been holding your breath for a too long time, creating too much carbon dioxide in your system. And by doing so, you move towards the fight and flight mode which most people people is common. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's common for people to be stressed, not even understanding how to get out of there. By using your nose and your belly, hmm, belly, you are able to transform that thing directly to rest and digest and directly generate the hormones, dopamine and serotonin. So this first short thing is that I'm going to give you one little exercise, just one. And that one little exercise, we're going to connect our nose with our belly. So let everything go. If you're holding your, uh, your iPhone or iPad or whatever to watch this video, make sure that you put it down so you can see me. And first, stand. Yeah, no, stand, no, really. The same as what people do with using their mouth for inhaling and exhaling, creating that shallow breathing. If you stand, then feel, am I putting, where on my feet do I put the most pressure? Do I put most pressure on my toes? Then mostly my knees will be locked and my whole body would be more forward. It's what most people do when they are a little bit stressed, they are tiptoeing. If you are more like a secure and strong person and you have no emotions, you mostly be, have a position without knowing to be like this, and then you put a lot of energy on the middle part of your feet. 
it also makes you lock your knees again and by locking the same as with your toes you're very forced to use your chest for breathing if you use your heels more then you would feel that your body has the ability to lower to, to a little bit fall down so your knees will bend and when your knees bend you can put your backs a little bit straight and it gives you more stronger presence like this so take a moment feel how you stand pause this video and feel how you stand what was the position of your feet that you put on your toes middle or heels i would advise you to gain the most benefit out of my series for now on to use energy and attention on your heels so to unlock your knees and to be really present so i can use my belly second exercise now this one your english finger we mostly point it towards somebody else because somebody does something and this time we're going to point to ourselves because we are the key of our change not something else so look towards an object in front of you and if you have that object can be a flower pot can be anything if you have that object and look beyond the object so you don't get stare or tunnel vision tunnel vision then energy on your heels so your knees bend and your index finger you put on the tip of your nose your other hand you will do on your belly on your belly button and hey we all have one right so you cannot say that you don't have one now if we are inhaling we are gently inhaling air through our nose and that makes our belly button move forward gently so you also you help yourself by pushing your belly button forward then we hold for two seconds and then by exhaling we exhale through our mouth and we pull our belly button inward as far as we can it's going to be your first fitness exercise but as far as you can fall in again for two seconds so and we're going to do the sequence three times So, are you ready? Stand at ease on your heels. Put your nose, your index finger on your nose, the other one on your belly button. And hey, it doesn't matter if it's left or right. I choose this one. So, look to your object, look beyond. And here we go. One, two, three. And let go. Pause the video again and do this exercise again on your own pace. Say a couple of times so you can feel it more. 
see you as you pause again. That was the awareness of error. Now, we directly also experience our anatomy because without your anatomy, you now feel that you really need muscle contraction to get that whole breathing pattern into place. There's no automatician here. We have done it. We have become aware. Hey, aware. You're going to see me use that um, word a lot. Aware. Mindset. In our daily lives, we are forced to make smart decisions, fast decisions. We always have like that social media stress. What may other people think of me? And oh, plain there is a message I need to respond. Hey, you've not been responding to my message five minutes ago. Um, do you not like to respond? I call this social media stress. In this digital age, we have forgotten what it actually takes to learn a skill. Normally, you can push a button, or when we're sending an email, like blah, blah, entering the enter button, and then it's solved. That's what I call the enter push button mentality. And it's been taking us away from enjoying our learning curve. If we are not succeeding within an hour, then we are not good enough. Stop that. We are human beings and we are wonderful creatures. But we all need time to learn. You think you learned to walk in one day? No. Nobody learns that big skill in one day. It takes time. So in my course and in my awareness, I want to share with you, always remember, enjoy your learning curve. It's an enjoyment to learn a skill, not to go fast. No reason about going fast. It's enjoying that you have given yourself the time to learn a new skill and become advanced into it step by step. For the assignment, write down the skills you want to be able to have and which one you'd like to achieve. And another subject, write them down for your course. So learn to play the video. What are the things you really would like to learn? And send them to me as, my, as your comments. What is the thing you really would like to learn to play the video? And also how you would like to implement it in daily life? Google. Google my name, Bastian Anthony Bai. Google did you do? And let me hear. What has inspired you to learn more? And then I know where you stand and what your goal is. I'm also going to be the goalkeeper for you to gently, easily make that whole enjoyment towards your learning curve. So it's a very small assignment. It has nothing to do with playing Did You Do yet. Use the air pattern daily. That's one assignment. Understand and feel and write down the muscles you feel you need to create that air pattern. And last in the assignment, write down for yourself and send it to me. What would be your goals to learn in playing with you. See you next time, next video, next week. And hey, I'm going to say that in the next videos, I'm going to put in a little bit of a um, little gimmick to send out a prize for the one who gives the most inspire inspiring thing who is the most engaging student towards these courses. Why? Because I want to engage with you. 
see how enthusiastic I can make you or how you can enthusiast other people as well. Practice your air pattern daily. Just take your time, three times, seven times, doesn't matter what, practice every day. Write down the muscles you feel so you can become more aware of them. Third, write down your goals you have to learn to fit. Enjoy life, see you soon. Bye bye.